We are at 1410 Easy Street. So we are facing the north. This is what our neighborhood looks like. And this is what the front of the house looks like. Um, you do come up into the driveway and make a little bit of a turn, but it's a three car garage, composition roof, shutter or shutters, gutters. You have a storm shelter here in the garage floor, along with the central vac system. Access here and over here for the garage. And this is just a painted floor in here with three lights. You come into the laundry room, get your floor here, and yes, that's real bricks. And here's the cabinet. So the walls, just in case you can't see, are kind of beige. We have a floor transition change. This is a hand scraped hardwood floor. To the left would be probably the dining room is what I would call it. Of course you have plantation shutters and then these are facing the north just to keep you straight to where we're going. So these are gonna be the kind of windows that don't have screens, but they do the rollout. We will open some of the other ones. The door is really pretty. Needs some paint though. Okay. The shutters are in good condition. I don't even think they really need paint and they're primarily black. So off of the dining room, we're still going to the left. This would be probably what I would call an office. And it's pretty good size. It sits somewhat at an angle and then it's carpeted. It's got a pretty good pad, you can tell. Again, with the plantation shutters. So here is the view this way. I do love those doors. You have a small uh, closet here. The flooring in this, this room looks great. I did see one small scratch, but nothing, nothing bad. Okay, so we're still turning left. We have this cabinet. We have a floor change here. And so this will be the first bathroom that you come to on the downstairs. Um, it is a half bath, nice size. And these doors are black, if you can tell. I absolutely love this one. And then here, we're still going. You can tell that this door shuts. This is the primary bedroom. It is nice sized. That is wallpaper on this wall right here. They don't have a lot of furniture in here, but still you could fit a big piece on this wall for sure and a big piece on the wallpaper wall. Ceiling fan and cam lights. We're going to the primary bathroom. We have a floor change. So we have dual vanities. I do really like these. And these lights. Walk-in shower show you the size here. Extra storage. To the left, we have the matching carpet that we had in the office in one closet, and they, they have nice built-ins with drawers here. Tons of closet space in here. Then here's our tub, it's a jetted tub. I know that's your favorite. Here's our bathroom. More cabinets here. And then the other closet, same carpet. Um, less built-in cabinet space, but about the same 
on the rod space. Okay, and then, so this time, we, these windows face the east. Here's the bathroom from this view. Forgive that unmade bed. All right, so back to our starting point. There are cam lights, quite a few. Okay, so this is in relation. You could come out of the garage into the laundry room. Here's our kitchen. Okay, our floor has not changed. This is a built-in. All the cabinets are this color, more like an antiqued stainless steel dishwasher, microwave, and then your island is the same color paint as the doors. That would be, my assumption would be where your ice maker or a wine uh, fridge goes. Here you go. I do love this backsplash. It's nice sized, and if the if this needed to be removed, I think it could to make it open. We're gonna back up here so you can see it all the way. And look at this light fixture. You'd need taller bar stools. I would assume about four could fit there. So now this is the open living area, the, how they had it. This is very big. A table could fit here. Here's our shutters again. This access goes to the back door, or backyard, fireplace. You can see we need just a little bit of putty there. And they have this one piece of furniture here and a rug. The paint has stayed the same throughout. Few places where you can tell they had things on the walls. So here, to give you depth perception, of the size of this room. Okay, so we're going down the hallway, more storage here, and we have bedrooms left, right, and straight, so we'll start here. We do change carpet. Um, it's still very good quality, you can tell, but it is a different pattern. This has dual closets. Um, this one is how the windows work. They just roll out. So you don't have screens on any of the windows, actually. And these are just going to have ceiling fans. And so this is a Jack and Jill. Or no, this one's just a full bath with a shower and a tub combo. One window. And a vanity here. These are nice size rooms. I would bet 12 by 14. We're going to the right now, matching carpet from the other bedroom. It has the Jack and Jill bathroom. And a large closet full of some stuff. Built-ins, and it goes all the way back, okay? So we have a floor change here. And this is the Jack and Jill bathroom. Oops. Storage, shower here. And then we're to the third bedroom on this end. Um, I believe they're all almost the same size. This one's closet is smaller than the other. Carpet looks good. I see one, maybe two little spots. So that's everything downstairs. We're going to walk and look at the backyard before we go upstairs. So the backyard is facing the south. Looks like the fence has been painted. I'm assuming it's about the same color that um, the, the shutters and everything are, so it does need a little bit of paint. But your patio here, I'm going to give you perspective on it. Okay. 
So you've got nice room for grill and some patio furniture. As far as mowing, this is about what you're gonna mow. This tree, they do have the beginnings of flower beds. I'm assuming right here, this was kind of this way because of um, sprinklers. But now we're to the front of the house and looking north, you'll see right there on that gutter, a little piece of it has a boo-boo. And then this one doesn't have the downspout. That's not anything to be, that's an easy fix. It looks like the eaves and soffit, everything is really in good condition. We are going to the west. You do have some nice landscaping. I don't see anything on the roof that makes me nervous. And again, all the windows are those, what I would call crank windows. You'll note that you have the two heating and air units. I'm gonna get close to those so you can see them. And then you have your backup generator. That's about a $10,000 ad right there. Here is what I would assume is the older unit. I'll take a picture of that too. It still looks very tidy. Nothing that makes me nervous. And then here's the bigger one. This fence, in comparison to my height, I can actually see over it. So there's that. Quiet neighborhood, as you can tell. And there is gas to the home and outdoor plugs. A little bit of paint needed there, nothing big. Now we're gonna go upstairs. It's got a really good layout. Three bedrooms on this end, one on the other. So this is the same carpet that we have seen in the office. This is a huge open area. They used to have no gym equipment up here. It does have ceiling fans. And it's out in air. It's a little warmer up here, but of course it is. And here's your bathroom. Chain and fly. And a built-in down here. Nice size. Of course, you can see that the ceiling is shaped a little different. But here it is from the other way. Anyway, this is Easy Straight, Easy Street. Hope you guys like it.